बिस्मिल्लाम रबी यसर वलात वसर वतमी बिल है रब जिदनिमा असलकुम दिस इज़ दी अपडेटेड सेवन्थ एडिशन ऑफ बुक डी थ्री एंड टुडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज एट एट बी एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन एंड टेन लेट स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ड्यूरिंग एन आर्ट लेसन स्टूडेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक अ शेप इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ सेक्टर ऑफ अ सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर If a perimeter of a shape is thirty-eight centimeter, find the area of the paper used in making the shape. First question is that the uh, radius is given to us. Let's suppose this is the paper, and that radius is given to us, which is twelve centimeter, and the perimeter is also given to us. We know that that the perimeter is this line, is the addition of this and this. The two sides is radius and third one is the arc length. From this we can find the arc length and then we can find the area. You find the arc length this side, then we find the area of the paper used. Now, students, in question number nine, the perimeter is given to us. The perimeter is thirty-eight centimeter, and we have to find the and radius is also given to us and radius is twelve centimeter. Now we have to find the arc length. Arc length, you see that the arc length is equal to the radius, which is twelve centimeter, twelve centimeter, and this is the total perimeter. This one. This is the total. The perimeter is equal to the arc length and twelve and twelve. I write it like that. Now by subtracting it, we can find the arc length. Thirty-eight subtract twelve minus twelve, and we get the fourteen centimeter. And now this is the arc length is fourteen centimeter. Now we have to find the area. In the area to find the area, the formula of area is area area of paper use formula is this area. We have to find the area of this part, and its formula is theta over three sixty degree pi over r square. You know that that theta is not given to us. Theta is not first. We have to find the theta. For finding the theta, to find the theta, we have to find uh, that arc length. And that's why it is necessary. We have to first find the arc length because we have to first find the theta. And the the theta, you know that the formula of the arc length is theta over three sixty two pi r. And this is equal to arc length, which we find, which is fourteen centimeter. And now, by calculating it, we get the theta. R is given to us twelve centimeter. The three sixty is fourteen is multiplied by three sixty, and two pi and r is twelve centimeter. Now we calculate it. By calculating it, we get the theta, which is equal to sixty. Six point eight five. Now we put the uh, values in this formula and we get the area of paper used. Theta is sixty six point eight five degree divided by three sixty pi and r is twelve square. And by calculating this, we get the well answer eighty four point zero centimeter square. And now, students, the question number nine is solved. In question number nine, we first find the arc length because the theta is not given to us, and the perimeter is given to us. We find the theta by the formula of arc length, and we get the uh, theta is sixty six point eight five degrees. We put the theta in the formula of area of a sector. The area of a sector we have to find, which is also the area of the paper used, and we put in this value, and we can get the answer. And now, students, the question number nine is done.
Now, students, so question number 10. The figure shows the two circular discs of radii 11 cm and 7 cm touching each other at R and lying on a straight line M, P, Q, N. And uh, now we can see that the figure shows the two circles and this is 11 cm. This radius is 11 cm. This is also 11 cm. This is 7 cm and this is also 7 cm because this is the radius of this, uh, these circles. What we have to find in it? In part number 1, show that the uh, angle PAQ is approximately 77.2. Now we have to show that the angle is uh, equal to this angle. This angle is equal to 77.2. Now we have to draw the line. You can see this line. This become a triangle. This uh, become a triangle and by applying the trigonometric ratio we can find that angle easily. You know that, that this is equal to, this is the radius is equal to 4, 11 and this is 7. And by adding 11 into 7, we get the total length of it, of this side. And by subtracting the 7 from 11, we get the length of that side. And by putting these values in the trigonometric ratio, we can find this angle very easily. Now we can do it. Now students, first we have to find the AT. AT is equal to AP minus TP. This length and this is AP is equal to 11. And this is equal to 7. And by subtracting it, we get the 4 centimeter. The, this is a, this triangle. We have to find that length. This is the A and this is T. And this is 7, 4 centimeter. And we can get the length of AB. This is B, AB. By adding it. AB is equal to AR plus RB. And this is 11 plus 7. We get the 18 centimeter. Now you can see that I add this one 11 and 7 and get the 18 and subtract a 7 from 11 and get that 80. You know that the cos theta is equal to base over hypotenuse. And in triangle a T B cos angle B A T is equal to A T. This is the base and hypotenuse A B. Base is 4 and hypotenuse is 18. And by, by we get the angle B A T cos inverse 4 over 18 we get the 77.2 degree now students we can see that this is the base 80 this is the triangle in triangle ATB this is the base which is equal to 4 and this is the AB which is 18 by adding 11 and 7 we get 18 and now by calculating it we get the BAT is 77.2 this we get 77.2 a b 80 and it is also equal to the angle p a b because this angle is equal and this is also equal to the angle p a b and this is 77.2 and hence proved now angle p a b is equal to 77.2 and this is hence proved. And now students, this question is solved. Part number one is solved. In part number two, hence find the area of a shaded region. This is a shaded region. We have to find that area, this area. And you can see that this is a trapezium, A, P, B, C trapezium. 
we have to find subtract the area of uh, from the area of trapezium the area of this sector and area of this sector we can get that area first we have to find the length uh, b pq and finding that area uh, area of a trapezium first we have to find the area of trapezium to find the area of a trapezium we have to find that length because the area of a trapezium is the 1 by 2 length of a parallel side and the other side which are not parallel and length of one, one that side and we do not know we can find the length of the pq by applying the a Pythagoras theorem if we find the length of BT this is equal to the PQ now I am finding the BT by Pythagoras theorem using Pythagoras theorem BT square is 18 square minus 4 square and uh, we get the 3 of 8 under root bt square and by taking the under root i get the 77.5 centimeter now students the bt is equal to or pq is equal to 17.55 centimeter for finding the area of the sector we have to first find these angles this angle we already find but we have to find that angle to find that angle we find the angle first this angle a b t we find that angle first then this angle you know that it is equal to 90 degree this angle t b q then we have to in this angle then we get that angle a b q area a angle of this sector then we applied in the formula and we get the area of this sector angle a b t is 180 degree minus 90 degree minus 77.160 because this is a triangle and interior angle of the triangle is equal to 180 and by subtracting these angles we get this angle a b and t and this is equal to 12.84 degree now uh, we have to find that angle a b and q and 90 degree is the angle because this angle is with a straight line and we have to add in it 12.84 degree and by adding it we get 102.84 degree and this is the angle of the smaller circle smaller sector smaller circle sector Now the area of shaded region is equal to area of trapezium subtract the area of sector uh, from the larger circle which is equal to P A Q and subtract the area of sector from the smaller circle which is A P R. Area of trapezium is you know that the formula of 1 by 2 addition of two parallel sides and this is multiplied by the third side which we find this is. 17.55 yes 17.55 now subtract area of a sector we find the angle which is equal to 77.2 and divided by 360 degree multiply by pi and r is equal to 11 square now the area of the sector which we find 102 degree 0.84 divided by 360 degree multiply by pi and r we know that 7 square now we have to calculate it 11 plus 7 
मल्टीप्लाय बाय सेवनटीन पॉइंट फाइव फाइव एंड दिस इज डिवाइडेड बाय टू वी गेट द आंसर वन फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव एरिया ऑफ ट्रपीजियम एंड नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ दिस सेक्टर पी ए क्यू सेवेंटी सेवन पॉइंट टू मल्टीप्लाय बाय पाए मल्टीप्लाय बाय and divided by 360 and we get the 81.51 subtract 102.84 multiply by pi multiply by 7 square and divided by 360 and we get the Forty-three point nine seven. Now subtract uh, these values from this one. Area of trapezium, one fifty-seven point nine five. Subtract eighty-one point five one. Subtract forty-three point nine seven. And we get the answer thirty-two point five. You can round off it. Thirty-two point five centimeter square. And now, students, this is the answer of part number two, and this question number ten is solved. I hope you understand these questions very well. Thank you very much, students, for watching my videos. Take care of yourself. Allah.